The Bull Mastiff is a robust working dog from England that has a short coat and a strong build, resulting from a crossbreeding between the Mastiff and Bulldog. Despite its protective nature, the breed displays a gentle demeanor around non-threatening people, especially children. Bull Mastiffs are known for their intelligence, alertness, and loyalty, while their calm temperament and affectionate nature make them great companions for families. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the history and evolution of the Bull Mastiff breed. The Origin the Bull Mastiff is a recent addition to the dog world, unlike the Mastiff, which is one of the England's oldest breeds. The term Mastiff originates from the French word Mastin, which means accustomed to the land. Molossians are a group of dogs that include Mastiffs, and any large breed regardless of appearance or job classification is known as a Molossian breed. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? Many of the original Molossian dogs are from Asia and have been around since ancient times. The Bull Mastiff is a mix of about 60% Mastiff and 40% English Bulldog. Especially the 19th century Bulldog, which was different in its appearance from today's breed. The modern day Old English Bulldog is believed to be the closest recreation of the dog used in the Bull Mastiff development. History in the mid to late 19th century, large country estates and game preserve were common among the English aristocracy. The vast size of these estates and preserves makes it challenging to monitor and protect them against poachers. Poaching was a constant threat, and despite harsh penalties, it remained a prevalent problem. The nobility enforced severe punishments for poaching, including the death penalty. However, instead of deterring poachers, these penalties only made them more likely to resist if caught. In response to this challenge, gamekeepers began breeding a new type of dog to help protect the estates. They experimented with various breeds and ratios, ultimately settling on a combination of the English Bulldog and the English Mastiff. This combination resulted in a new breed of dog that was perfectly suited for the job of guarding the estates. And that's how the Bull Mastiff was born. During the day, the mere sight of the Bull Mastiff was enough to discourage potential poachers. The dog's large size and powerful presence commanded respect and instilled fear in those who might consider breaking the law. At night, the Bull Mastiff's dark face and quiet demeanor allowed it to easily stalk potential intruders without being detected. The Bull Mastiff's agility and speed also made it an effective guard dog. The dog would quietly stalk poachers, sprinting short distances to overtake them, and then pinning them down with its considerable mass until the gamekeepers could apprehend them. Despite their formidable size, Bull Mastiffs were trained not to bite or maul intruders, but instead to hold them until the authorities arrived. Recognition Gamekeepers would compete to determine the best guard dog for their estate. While dog shows became popular in England, the United Kennel Club or UKC recognized the Bull Mastiff as a unique breed in 1924, followed by the American Kennel Club AKC in 1933. Judged into six distinct categories, the uniqueness of the Bull Mastiff then came to light. Although originally bred as the gamekeeper's night dog, Bull Mastiffs are now better suited as gentle giants, who prefer to lounge around the house. With proper training and socialization in the first years of life, Bull Mastiffs are more likely to be docile house pets than vicious guardians. However, the Bull Mastiff is still recognized as a powerful and protective breed and their natural instincts to protect their families and homes make them a popular choice as a family pet. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.